I don't mean to listen to your option. This is our land. This is the standoff between Indigenous land defenders and Canadian police that sparked nationwide protests. They were arrested while trying to block construction of a gas pipeline on their traditional lands. The arrests marked the climax of a long simmering conflict between Indigenous peoples, the Canadian government and the pipeline company. The Indigenous opponents of the pipeline say it would threaten their land and way of life. We see the land as a relative, as a living being. So our, our hereditary chiefs don't make decisions about the land that would compromise it and its capacity to sustain our future generation. The multi-billion dollar gas pipeline is set to be built across Western Canada. Part of it would cut through territory over which the Wet'suwet'en claim authority. Indigenous people have called the land home for thousands of years. Protesters across the country are standing in solidarity with the pipeline opponents. They're barricading ports, railways and roads across the country. Canada's government warns that these moves could cripple the economy. There are growing concerns about the economic fallout from blockades that are stalling rail traffic. Could potentially put thousands of rail workers out of a job. The barricades must now come down. As the debate rages, the Wet'suwet'en nation itself remains divided over the fate of their lands. Some of its leaders say they never consented to the pipeline being built on their traditional territory. But other members of the nation welcome the project as a boon for local economies. We, as a community, need jobs. There's no doubt about it. We want to work and we have to work with industry and that's what our uh, chief and council have done. The pipeline company says its project got backing from elected First Nations councils along the route after extensive consultations. Late last year, British Columbia's Supreme Court sided with the company, ruling that protesters blockading the pipeline's path could be removed. Eve Saint was one of those protesters who was detained for taking part in the blockade. Saint says she opposes the pipeline because she's afraid of the violence that increased industry could bring to her community. Indigenous women go missing or are killed at an alarming rate. So much so that a 2019 federal inquiry called it a Canadian genocide. There's a lot of our Indigenous women and girls and, and people are going missing. There's thousands upon thousands. If this um, uh, pipeline goes through, the violence that they bring, um, let alone like uh, the increase of um, um, drugs and alcohol that uh, the, the industry brings. Concern for Indigenous people is fueling the protests, as are environmental fears. But police are now increasingly cracking okay. down on demonstrators. Meanwhile, fresh transportation blockades continue to pop up, moves that the Wet'suwet'en pipeline opponents welcome. It's, it's been very humbling and um, inspiring and with such deep gratitude that we've been witnessing all of these acts to stand with us and, and really amplify our voice and amplify our cause, which is a collective cause. You know, the intention of, behind our work is to make sure that our land and our water uh, can sustain future generations.